Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be learning how to add an insert or a plugin in Pro Tools. So let's say that you have recorded and now you're going to mix. Well, if you're mixing on a digital audio workstation like uh, Avid Pro Tools, chances are you're going to be using a lot of uh, plugins, which are basically um, pieces of software that apply um, digital audio processing to your signal, okay? And when I'm, when I mention processing, I'm talking about equalizers, uh, compressors, and effects, okay? So, um, this is something that most likely you're going to be doing when mixing, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the mix window by clicking on window mix, and here we go. So, let's say that you want to add a, you want to add a plugin to your to this track, this track here called GT. So as you can see, here's my inserts list, okay? And I want to add a plugin here. I have one, two, I have this one here, which is bypass, then I have this equalizer, and then I want to add, let's say, a compressor, okay, here in the third slot. So in order to add it, it's very simple. You just go to the inserts list, you locate on top of that slot, that available slot, left click on it, and here you're gonna see multi-channel plugin, multi-mono plugin, so I'm going to go multi-channel, and then I'll go, you can go by uh, type or manufacturer. Let's say I want to go dynamics, and I want to add the BF76 compressor. Click there, and boom, I just added this compressor to the GT track. And it is located on that third slot there. Okay, now let's say that I want to remove it. Now, how do you remove it? Actually, let's go ahead and remove the very first one that we have bypassed. How do you remove it? Well, next to the name to the left, you see the little dot there. You can click there and then click on no insert. And now it has been removed. Now that it's removed, you can actually click and drag up the other plugins to actually modify the order. So like right now it's the compressor and then the EQ, but I can also do the EQ and then the compressor. Now if I want to remove the compressor, I'll click on that little dot on the to the left of the name and then do no insert, click there, it's gone, and then I'll do it with the equalizer and it's gone. So that's how you add and remove plugins um, in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're gonna be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.